Now, those rockets from Gaza, sometimes intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome missile shield, and then the shattering response from Israel, airstrikes leveling buildings. The results on the ground this weekend, frightening and fatal for people on both sides. More than 20 Palestinians are dead, at least four Israelis are. And as Paul Hunter tells us, this brought a region to the brink. <laughs> Relentlessly, all weekend, rocket attacks into southern Israel and counter-strikes from Israel into Gaza. All of it painfully violent and depressingly familiar. Still, it's the most intense fighting in that region in months. And for the first time since the 2014 Gaza-Israel war, among those killed today were Israeli civilians, including a 58-year-old father of four. The dead on the Gaza side was a mix of militants and civilians, including yesterday a 14-month-old girl and her pregnant aunt. Also, for the first time in years, there was a separate targeted airstrike by Israel killing a senior Hamas commander. <laughs> Massive strikes will continue, said Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today. Forces at the Gaza border, he added, will be stepped up. <laughs> this latest fighting follows Palestinian complaints Israel wasn't acting quickly enough to ease its economic blockade on Gaza. On Friday, gunfire from Gaza wounded two Israeli soldiers and the violence escalated from that. But many now also worry about the timing. National and religious commemorations are coming up on both sides and Israel will soon host the Eurovision Song Contest, bringing with it tourists and worldwide attention. But some underline the key to what happens next may well be how Israel now responds to its civilians being killed pressures on the Israeli government to intensify its reply. Which is escalate the airstrikes and, more worrying, threaten surgical ground assaults across the border. Uh, once that happens, uh, you could have pointless fighting on both sides that will go on for weeks. But tonight, even as Israeli tanks were spotted heading toward the Gaza border, reports of a possible ceasefire agreement Details are scarce, but potentially it's a way out for all sides. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.